investigate the site that was closed out there, there by Atlanta Gas because here's a letter from them that they sent me in 2001 admitting they helped contaminate that area. Are you talking about the Atlanta, the, the Atlanta Gas plant? Like, they did clean up there. They did clean up there in the late 90s. No, sir, they didn't. They took the topsoil off. They removed the contamination down to a concentration below the most strict state cleanup standard that there is. Are there any marine-wise species such as sensitive to these chemicals that would be indicated in your chemical Well, I think the, the, the kind of chemicals we're talking about, like benzoate pyrene yeah. and the other carcinogenic agents, the levels that we screen against and then Side on action levels are so stringent for human health concern because we're worried about cancer, excess cancer risk, yeah, that, that, that those are lower, the, the, the values that we're screening against and, and making decisions on are lower than any level that would cause an effect in a, you know, in an aquatic organism. That would be my first one. Are there any, have any studies been done for example, rocks and people You know, there, 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 there probably are, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know specific, but I mean, I'm just saying in general, I mean, for these specific compounds, you have to be up in the probably high part per million range to cause a, to cause overt effects on aquatic organisms. We're, we're down to part per billion range, what we're talking about here, so. Yeah. So you'd be a lower level for humans. Well, it'd be a lower level for humans. Yeah, it'd be a lower level, yeah. Right. Yeah, it'd have to be a higher level, a higher level before you see effect on the quiet. Well, and, well, and, and also, the, these cancer risk levels are, are very stringent, we're talking about. We're, we're screening at one in a million excess cancer risk, and the upper end of our range is one in 10,000 excess cancer risk. And and that compare that to the the cancer risk that all of us have already, just from living, is one in three to one in two. So we're talking about very small risk compared to the cancer risk that we all already have. I mean, that's why that's why we use those levels to make sure we're protected for effects of a site or potential site on human health risk. Um, I saw a lot of the water tests in the world that you were tested, mm -hmm. and even though I know you had to start before the level that you go by, there was things, TCE, Epicor, and other chemicals in those wells were tests. Now I have looked at the CDC, I have looked at the Yeah, that was removed. 
years ago. EPA had nothing to do with the dismantling that was done in 2015. Well, I mean, when we first moved here, you drive by, you see that greasy stuff leaking out of those things? You go by CSX. I know a person that works there. I have been on the grounds. I've watched them. She worked cleaning the engine. That stuff goes in the grounds. And y'all just said that some of that stuff can be natural from a car exhaust. If the car exhaust can get down into a deep well, what is an industrial site like CSX doing to our horses? I mean, it's plain and simple. You don't want to find it, you're not going to find it. But it is here. We've got the children sick. We've got the adults sick. This man's wife has had tumors removed. There's a boy down the road from 32 years old, stomach cancer. Another one, 28 liver cancer. That is an unusually high amount of cancers. And just like she said, sit on her uh, chart up there. Six children, they expect two. That should be enough proof right there. <coughs> And, and that's why we are continuing with the health investigation. And what I would like to do is to conduct another community, like an epidemiological study. But that would require going in and doing another similar survey that was done already. And we didn't, without asking you guys if you think that would be, or you, you know, ask people just kind of the same question. But if we could get some help from the community, distribute hundreds of surveys where we can get all of the data we need, um, and we can do that over a relatively short period of time, over a few months, get them out there, we can have drop boxes at the fire station or wherever, so that people can, can uh, submit these, and then we can start really collecting you know, how outcomes and concerns people have, if you guys think that would helpful we'd like to go for it and just be another survey and the survey you designed is pretty good I and mean, i'd like to build it on that but it's 